Hi buddy, uh, welcome once again. So if you're a digital marketing specialist or if you want to uh, maybe propel your digital marketing strategies to the next level, uh, then you need to understand these three ways uh, on how to boost your digital marketing uh, with Google Trends. So Google, Google Trends is one of the applications from Google that allows you to actually do some kind of monitoring a bit on the consumer behavior which products are trending which location are your customers from so all these puts google trends in a very good uh, place or a tool that you can always use as a digital marketer so then then when you understand these three uh, things uh, how to benchmark against competitors using google trends how to analyze brand awareness using uh, google trends and of course how to do some kind of forecast uh, in product demand. So ideally, uh, these particular tips are not from me, but they are from Google, right, on how to use Google Trends to propel your digital marketing strategy. So I'm just going to use Google Trends to show you these three uh, concepts of how you can be able to uh, do your digital marketing. So let's just open uh, Google Trends. So with your browser open, you just need to search for Google Trends. So just click, uh, I mean, type Google Trends. You can see here it is. And then you open, uh, just click on that, Google Trends. It's a free application. I think all you need to do is to have a, a Gmail account. You can see. So this is the interface of Google Trends, right? So there's quite a number of things that you can actually explore uh, when you're using google trends so it's going to look at the three right uh concepts that you've already mentioned uh that is how to benchmark against your competitors and of course how to maybe analyze your brand awareness and how we can do some kind of forecasting on your product right so once you're here uh, you can see you have to uh, maybe change your location so i'm currently in kenya so maybe i can leave it at that so kindly ensure that you use the right location when you're doing some kind of uh, uh, analysis using google trends then you need to come and click on explore because the first thing is that you want to uh, benchmark against your, our competitors right so allow me to just use some kind of assumption here uh, and since i'm in kenya i'll maybe will try to uh, maybe search for some products or rather uh, food related uh, products so again let me just um, uh, let me open trip advisor uh, just to tell me which uh, uh, kind of maybe businesses operate uh, so i'll just uh, trip advisor Okay, since you are in Kenya, so TripAdvisor. Uh, let me just open it. Let's just open it first uh, and see uh, what we can achieve. We want to understand the companies or businesses that or operate, uh, maybe food and beverage, for example, so that you can benchmark against them. So it's just an assumption, but you want to make an assumption, uh, maybe. Uh, of course uh, f viable we don't want to just cook things yeah. so we can search for maybe food or restaurants restaurants um, let's say in Nairobi I want to see the existing food restaurants in Nairobi so that we can okay okay let's give it time so these are the restaurants in Nairobi uh, okay I can see Jiko I can see village purple slate rooftop tattoo restaurant uh, slate okay we have quite a number All right uh, local aids we have carnival we have okay okay 
the quota number so we just need to do some comp uh, we want us to uh, do some kind of uh, competitor analysis so I don't know whether we have KFC here uh, KFC in Nairobi we are assuming that okay let's see so we can use that I think it is there KFC is there so what we need to do is just to come and add KFC here so you can search for it KFC let's search for the town okay though I needed the KFC restaurants so let's just type KFC let's just have K KFC restaurant okay as you can see it is here Is this okay, we can we can just use KFC restaurant yeah I can see it is here uh, this one uh, KFC fast restaurant food and also we can okay you can see it's now being giving us some kind of uh, interest over time so we also need to check on another uh, company that offers the same uh, business or operate this so uh, maybe I can we can look at uh, maybe Ken Chick I don't know Ken Chick restaurant okay you can also look at maybe Galitos I don't know whether Galitos is there uh, Galitos Not giving us okay. Maybe you can look at the two, the first two. Let's compare the two. You can see KFC actually has a lot of information compared to the Kenchik. So Kenchik is not that popular. I wanted a business that actually has almost uh, so that one uh, let me just go back and do some analysis on the trip advisor first all right uh, so i've added the three fast food uh businesses uh, that actually are the maybe let's say mostly used in kenya more so in nairobi so that is kfc first uh, food restaurant we have uber eats uh, pizza in so the first element is to compare against um, or how you are the performance against your competitors so you can always see you can use google trends and you can see it clearly maps out uh, the trend again uh, of these particular three uh, restaurants so you can see kfc uh, actually is the most preferred we over time you can see it as maintained right uh, followed by the pizza in at some point you can see and of course we also have what we have uh, uber eats that comes third uh, the red line so that's one element that you can use uh, google uh, trends with so you can always maybe do some comparison with the, against your competitors and see how they are performing now the other thing is maybe to look at uh, uh, the brand awareness across the locations right so you can see here we can break google trends allows you to break down uh, maybe uh, this particular uh, brand awareness uh, according to the city so you can see uh, the city here uh, this is the kfc uh, so kfc is mostly preferred in machakos nanyuki meru these are sit uh, some of the towns uh, within kenya and you can see it shows where actually KFC dom is dominated right if you just scroll down also it gives you uh, maybe uh, the interest this is now the how 
this brand is performing or how people are actually searching yeah the interest of this particular brand in, in as far as the cities are concerned so you can see people always type kfc or starbucks uh, sorry and of course kfc machacos nearest kfc for me so these are the keywords so you can see this is how the brand name is normally used across right now when you focus on the uber eats interest by seat you can see uh, of course uh, uh, these ones are mainly just online orders i can see and let's just look at uh, we need to have uh, uh, the city option i don't know why it's not giving us but i can see the city here it's giving us the city option the names that are used to search for the uber eats so it's not really uh, of much of a of a competitor against kfc you can see kfc is far much uh Pizain, so they normally use these words uh, to maybe check on pizza uh pizza in foods so you can see pizza in nyali pizza in near me right so that's how we can ideally uh, look at the brand awareness how it is actually performing right uh, you can see the percentage uh, you can also look at the location how it is mapped uh, which part of the country or town uh, prefers a specific brand right so this information is very very vital for uh, maybe those people who are running these particular businesses so you can always uh uh, maybe reinforce or check how your competitor is faring right over time how your brand uh, is actually faring right so this is just a strategy that google uh, trends offers actually this should be the latest the comparison aspect to know how your competitors are actually faring and of course to position yourself to position your brand right so if you realize that maybe kfc is uh, dominating these particular uh, towns there could be a reason so maybe as a competitor you can focus and maybe check uh, like let's say uh, let's say you are actually uh, the pizza your business is pizza in you can maybe look at ways of maybe countering right your kfc counterpart so i believe this information will help you as a digital marketer uh, towards maybe understanding your brand uh, how it's actually doing outside there how you can be able to position yourself uh, properly against your competitors right and of course it gives you some kind of forecasting of your product performance with uh, within a given period you can see right so that's all. If you find this information useful, always be part of this particular community. All right, thanks.